Megan, and we're going to be talking more about God's Word is Truth. Do you remember what God's Word is? That's right, it's the Bible. And we know that everything in the Bible is true. And we're going to hear another true story from the Bible today. But who usually brings us our clue for the Bible story? It's Cubby Bear. Let's call him on the count of three. Call him with me. One, two, three. Cubby! <gasps> he's coming. I think he's coming. Cubby Bear. Hello. Oh, Cubby. It's so nice to see you today. How are you doing today? Are you good? Yeah, good. Cubby, did you bring us a clue for our story today? You did. Hmm. Is that? That looks kind of interesting. It's really different, Cubby. Is that something that you eat? It is? Okay. Can, can I smell it? Is that okay? Hmm. Okay, it smells kind of sweet. Uh, is it a fruit, Cubby? It is. Oh, you know what? I think it's a special fruit for our story today. Boys and girls, how about before we hear our story, let's sing our Cubby's song. job, Cubbies. Do you remember Adam and Eve from the Bible? Adam and Eve lived in the beautiful Garden of Eden, and God put them in charge of taking care of the garden and all of the animals. Everything was perfect, and, everything, and they could all talk to God every day. And God gave Adam only one rule. Can you hold up one finger with me? This one rule was for, was for Eve too. God said Adam and Eve could eat fruit from the tree of life and every other tree in the garden, but they could not eat fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. If they did, they would die. And that was the truth because God's word is truth. Let's listen to this story found in Genesis 3. One day a serpent came to talk to Eve. The Bible doesn't tell us what the serpent looked like, but the Bible does say that the serpent was the sneakiest of the creatures. He pretended to be nice, but he was really Satan, God's enemy in disguise. The serpent asked Eve a question. Did God really say you can't eat from any, from any tree in the garden? Oh, we may eat from the trees, Eve said, but God told us not to eat from the tree in the middle of the garden or even touch it. If we do, we will die. You won't die, the serpent lied. If you eat this fruit, you'll be wise like God. Wise like God? I want to be wise, Eve said. And the fruit looks so delicious. Eve decided to believe the serpent's lie instead of God's truth. She reached up and picked a piece of fruit and took a bite. She gave some of the fruit to Adam, who was with her, and he ate it too. Oh no, right away they felt different. They wanted to cover their faces. They didn't want to be seen. This was the first sin in God's perfect garden. Sin is anything we think, say, or do that disobeys God. Adam and Eve disobeyed God and they knew it. Knew it. They were afraid to talk to God. Cubbies, I wonder what will happen next time. Do you think Adam and Eve will get in trouble? Will they die because they ate the fruit? Will God still love them? I'm not sure what will happen to Adam and Eve, but I do think that God will still love them. We learned a verse several weeks ago that talks about just that. Romans 5 verse 8 says, While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Even though we sin, God still loves us because He sent His Son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. And we know this is true because God's Word is truth. Our verse this week is Psalm 51 verse 4, and it says, Against you, and when we point up, we're gonna, we're, we're talking about God, right? So that's why we're pointing up. Okay, and then the next part says, have I sinned like this and done what is evil in your sight? Okay, we're gonna say that all together again, all right? Against you 
have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight? Psalm 51, 4. Great job, Cubbies. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you that you love us even though we sin. We love you too. Amen. Thanks for joining me today, Cubbies. Bye.